let's have a look at the next question now this says um, uh, changes in which of the following does not affect respiration arterial h plus arterial sodium arterial bicarbonate or arterial pco2 now um Changes in arterial sodium concentration has no effect on either the peripheral or the central chemoreceptors. Arterial H plus concentration would uh, would uh, would determine the uh, uh, increase in arterial H plus concentration. That means there is acidosis, decrease in pH, acidosis. Acidosis will affect uh, the peripheral chemoreceptors, right? Changes in the pH will affect the peripheral chemoreceptor. Change in an arterial H plus concentration. Increase in bi uh, arterial bicarbonate. That means alkalosis. That would cause a suppression of the of the respiratory drive. Arterial PCO2 will affect both the peripheral as well as the central chemoreceptors. But arterial sodium concentration has no effect on respiration. Let's have a look at the next question. Acidification of the urine occurs in which of the following segments of the nephron? Acidification of the urine occurs in the collecting duct. H plus secretion. H plus secretion occurs in two main two places and H plus secretion occurs in number one PCT as well as in the collecting duct. The eye cells of the collecting duct. In the PCT, it is, it is almost 4,000 200 millimoles of H plus is secreted per day. In the collecting duct, less than 80 millimoles of H plus is secreted per day. But it is the, the acidification occurs in fact in the collecting duct, not in the PCT. In spite of a huge amount of H plus secretion in the PCT, it does not acidify the urine, mainly because there is an excellent buffer which is present in the uh, buffer which is present in the PCT and that is bicarbonate. So even though the H plus secretion in the collecting duct is less than 80 millimoles per day, acidification occurs in the collecting duct. Let's have a look at the next question. Which of the following is the most important cholagog? Most important cholagog. Uh, cholagog is a substance which causes contraction of the gallbladder and causes secretion of bile. Now, uh, CCK and Vegas are both cholagogues, but out of these, which is a more important agent, which is responsible for contraction of gallbladder, is CCK, cholecystokinin. Bile acids, bile acids are cholaretics, and what are cholaretics? Cholaretics are substances which increase the synthesis of bile and therefore increase the secretion. Cholagog causes gallbladder contraction and therefore increases the secretion of bile. Cholaretic will increase the synthesis and therefore increase the secretion. And out of um, bile acids, bile acids are very important cholaretics. Bile acids, if you remember, 95% of the bile acids are reabsorbed. 90% of the distal helium, 5% in the colon, 95% of the bile acids are reabsorbed taken back into the liver, enterohepatic circulation. And bile acids cause the, uh, cause the synthesis of more bile acids. So important cholaretics are the bile acids themselves. Secretin, what is the role of secretin? Secretin increases the bicarbonate content bicarbonate and therefore the water content in bile therefore it is known as a hydrocholeretic it is increasing the bicarbonate and therefore the water content in bile and known as a hydrocholeretic let's have a look at the next question the next question is the um, all of the following occur in deep sea divers except all of the following occur in deep sea divers except oxygen toxicity, nitrogen narcosis, caissons disease. All three can occur in deep sea divers, but not Monge's disease. Monge's disease is something which is known as chronic mountain sickness. And this is seen in high altitude in people who are staying in high altitude for a prolonged period, let's say about two to three months, and they go into a mountain sickness. There is pulmonary hypertension. There may be a uh, right heart failure. And uh, th that is your Monge's disease, chronic mountain sickness. Uh, Oxygen toxicity and nitrogen narcosis occur in deep sea divers because as you go under water, the surrounding pressure increases. So it causes increased solubility and density of gases. 
and oxygen toxicity nitrogen narcosis uh, generally the uh, the mixture of air that a diver breathes is oxygen nitrogen mixture both these gases tend to become highly soluble underwater and they can give rise to oxygen to toxicity and nitrogen narcosis and what is caisson's disease caisson's disease is seen when the diver comes onto the surface decompression sickness if he rapidly ascends to the surface uh, underwater the problem is the gases tend to have a higher solubility they tend to dissolve much more but as he comes to the surface there is a tendency of these gases to form emboli and that is what is known as decompression sickness or caisson's disease also known as disbarism so this is as far as your uh, deep sea divers